the floating intro, the uh, chords, the bass line, and the solo to Shania Twain's That Don't Impress Me Much. And I'm sure she wouldn't be all that impressed, but I had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you do too. We're going to do it all note for note, and uh, here it comes. Okay, gang. Well, we're going to go over this in a number of different parts. But the key to basically all of them thinking about them, especially if you're playing along by the record, is that it's in C sharp major, but that's really just because they've got a capo on the first fret and they're playing all C major type positions. Now, maybe that was because Shania Twain's voice at that time, it fit her voice real perfectly. Uh, I don't know what the real reason is, but in any case, that's if you're playing along with the chords and trying to figure them out, that's why it's in C sharp major. And we'll go over the chords in just a second. All right, anyway, for the solo and much of the rest of the stuff, it doesn't matter because we're going to play it all in closed position. All right, so here's the first part. All right, now I know that's not exactly it, but I wanted to kind of get that floating, ethereal uh, feeling of what they do on the record. And so to do that, what I've done is I've used um, basically a ramp. There's a volume ramp. And uh, that's what I'm using in this first piece. And um, so I just kind of played around with how long it took to ramp up. And you're basically playing two notes. You're playing the sixth fret, first string, and you're playing the fourth fret, first string. And that's it. Now, the only other thing to note is that if you want to get that sound, I use pretty heavy distortion. Just to, so I get a lot of sustain when I played that. That's it. All right, let's take a look at the next part. Okay, let's take a look at the chords next. Kind of sounds like this. All right. And all I'm doing is I'm giving um, do 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 three three chord beats per per chord, and basically I'm playing an A minor shape. Now I'm playing an F major, but I'm playing a little guy F because I'm emphasizing only the four, three, and two strings. I guess I could play the fifth string too. Okay, so it's like this. Now I'm playing a C, and finally a G. Needless to say, you don't want heavy distortion on this one, so I'm just using a clean sound out of this, and I think I used the uh, the neck pickup on this as well. Okay, now let's go on to that cool little bass line. All right, now we're gonna do that cool little bass, uh, bass run. Okay, remember, the capo's still on the first. Now, I've been a little bit tricky. I'm using a humbucker guitar, yes, but notice I've got two little coil taps spl uh, split switches, so I'm splitting the coils on this one. And I'm also shooting to uh, going to a Marshall sound with the gain clocked about halfway, just to get a little bit dirty uh, with the sound. Um, and what I'm really aiming for is sort of a Telecaster in between position sound on this. Okay, here we go. Now <clears throat> I could tell you what the notes are, but I think it's easier if you just look around. The confusion with the, using the capo. Do I call this the second fret or the third fret? Is confusing. So just kind of watch it and you'll get it. Slide into that first note on the fifth. It's all on the fifth and fourth strings. Again, one more time, even slower. Slow, uh, go into that first one, slide into it. Now 
let's do the solo. All right, gang, let's get on with the solo now. Still got the cape on, although it doesn't really matter all that much um, uh, for the solo because every note is played fretted, so it never really, there's no open notes, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and we're going to be thinking about this um, as in A sharp minor. Now, I would normally call this B flat minor, but I've been calling this C sharp major, so some sticklers out there are going to get me on that. So I'll call it A sharp minor. Okay, whatever. Um, now, uh, to get the sound, basically I just cranked up the Marshall gain. Um, so I'm still using single coil. Uh, but I just want a little more sustain. Um, now, I think on the video, uh, when, or when I originally played it, I played it on the neck pickup with the coil split, and it still sounded okay. So I left it. Uh, but I think it probably sound a little bit better even on the uh, on the bridge pickup, so that's where we're going to go now. I also put a tiny amount of delay in there. Um, I'm going to take it off for the instruction, but just to know it was on there. Okay, let's get to it now. As I said, this is an A sharp minor, so our positions are going to be out of that. Okay, we start out with a classic blues bend. All right, that starts out on the ninth fret. We're going to take that and bend it up a whole step. Stroke it and bring it down. Then play the, the sixth. Back to the ninth. Back to sixth. And the eighth on the third string. Whole thing should sound like this. I guess on the third string, you're going to bend up a whole step up from the eighth and then bring it back down to the eighth. Again, one more time. All right, now the next line is this. Fits in with an A sharp minor scale perfectly. We're just going to play on the third string. We're going to play six and pull off to the five. We'll play that twice. And then play that note right there, which is the eighth on the fourth string. I'll do the same thing two strings down. Play on the fifth string. We'll play, um, and one fret up. We'll play seven, six, seven, six. We'll pull off. And then play that ninth on the sixth. Again, here's how it sounds. All right, now here's the hard line, and mostly because uh, of the timing. Shania Twain says, like, a yeah, or something like that. Now, I'm not even going to try and sing it. She's so much better than I am on that. That's an understatement. All right, so anyway, you got to wait for that. And if you listen to the record, you'll get it. But anyway, here's the line. All right, so this one is you're going to come down to the um, fourth fret on the sixth string, and you're going to play um, a hammer on to the sixth, and then play the fourth on the fifth string. Okay? Now you shift up to, you were in the fourth position, now you shift up to the sixth position, you're going to be playing on the fifth. Two ghost notes. All right, so those ghost notes are basically just like a note, except you're not really pushing down on the fret. So you do a down up on that ghost note on that. And then you'll play um, that hammer on from the sit. You'll play the sixth. Um, and you'll hammer on to the eighth. And then play the sixth on the fourth. All right, so it sounds like this. All right, so now what you're going to do is you play the two ghost notes again, same same way, except now you're playing on the fourth. So you play two ghost notes, then the sixth, hammer on to the eighth. All right, and then you're going to play the sixth on the third string. Now, on this one, you're going to slide all the way up uh, to the tenth fret. All right, now you're playing out of a different blues box position than the, than the normal. Some people call that extended blues box position, but you'll slide up to that, 
and I slide up with my first finger and you're gonna play a little double stop right here and you're going to play the tenth on the, on the third and the eleventh on the second now I play it with my pick and I play it with my two fingers my middle finger and my ring finger um, I just play that on but you can play it with a pick if you want it sounds just fine you play it uh, four times <laughs> there we go okay uh, after you play that then you then you slide then you play this so you can play a slide up if that's more comfortable to you but basically I'm going on the third and I'm doing a very fast slide down to this tenth note on the third and uh, then the eleventh on the second so the same as the chords that we're playing okay last part is this or that's not the quite the last part it's the part before last it's the penultimate part if you are familiar with that word all right heard it a physics lecture this weekend pretty awesome time I had there huh all right okay anyway here we go so it's this so um, what I'm doing is I'm playing this 11th to the 12th on the second and then I'm playing and then I'm playing another double stop and this one is this it's the on the second and first strings it's the 11th on the second and the ninth on the first know in the record if he slides up to play that or if he just hammers it's pretty close either way you do that twice now we're in the last line and this one is simply out of the blues box position you're playing that first one right a minor blue a sharp minor blues box. you'll play nine pull off to uh, uh, pull off to the sixth and then play the ninth on the second. And then on the second, you'll play the ninth, pull off to the sixth, and play the eight on the third. And then you'll play your classic bend on the third, whole step, pull off to the sixth, and play the eighth on the fourth string. Okay, one more time. go all right well I hope you had fun and I hope if you learn this one you're able to impress somebody <laughs> all right we'll see you on down the road gang